Okay. Hello! We're just doing this. Hold on, I'm gonna put on a little light here. Just a second. Oh, somebody's unplugged my light. Huh. That is a problem. Is this what happens when you don't plan any of these things? Okay. Ooh, we're just doing this. Hey, Hold on, there, I'm gonna right? put on a little light here. You're there! Hello! And just give me a second, I need to stop this. I need to mute this as well, just to make sure if it starts. Uh, yeah, hi, sorry, uh, no video today because I was out until like 4am last night, and so I've only just woke up. I haven't had a t chance to record anything. Uh, what I am working on is... I don't know, I'm working on cruise missile interception. How's the video looking? Um, I am actually live. I just want to know if people... Tell me if the video starts stuttering because I'm, I'm trying to make sure that everything works here. So, what we've got... I'm, I want to do cruise missile interception. I am definitely live paint cannon. Let me just tell you. Death. Death. Live. <laughs> okay, so... I... There's a, there's a fun story. Uh, well, there's not so much a fun story. There's an interesting story from World War Two. You might you might know about Werner von Braun and his work on uh, the V two rocket, right? V two rocket was essentially a long range bombardment system. Now, what's less famous or perhaps less notorious is the V one. The V one actually did way more damage. The V one they launched thousands of those. And it was essentially a flying bomb with wings and stuff using a pulse jet. So I tried to build one of these so I can actually you know, check it out and attack them. So uh, this is what we've got. This is actually pretty complicated. So I have to launch this. All right. Oh, and then... Oh, wait. I messed it up. <laughs> okay. That's not what was supposed to happen. Let's uh, revert that. <laughs> it's working on mobile. Hey. I can't really chat because Orion is actually sitting over there playing games. He's probably playing Skyrim or something. Okay, so let's do this again. Throttle up to 100%. This is going to be the bomb, right? This is on the top is the target drone. And below is the interceptor, right? So I'm going to have to wait for this to get up to like 100% thrust. So I'm watching the thrust here. It says 55 kilonewtons. And wait until it gets above about 70. Why is the bottom left corner all wonky? I, I don't know why. Why is that? That is very strange. I have no idea why. Let me uh, just window capture properties. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Okay. Uh, no, I have no idea why that's wonky. Let's try switching scene and see if it fixes itself. Nope. It is still busted. Oh, that's interesting. That seemed to fix it. Oh, no. What the heck? That makes absolutely no sense at all to me. Does anybody know what's going on there? This is Open Broadcaster. Something which I keep on getting recommended. Uh, look, never mind. It's wonky down there. Who cares? I just want to show this happening. So we're going to launch this, right? And immediately I need to switch back and launch this. And then here we go. This is flying. So get control. Get control. Get it in level flight. And then switch back. Oh, no, 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 no. This needs to take off. Okay, there we go. Oh, t stabilize this thing. Now one's chasing the other. And now I'm already catching up because I have way more thrust than he does. So I'm going to slow down, apply air brakes. And now I am in pursuit of a flying weapon. Going to level this out. Okay. And just make sure. Oh, crap. There it is there. Ah, oh, I'm flying past it too much. Okay, so I'm flying past it. So what I'm going to do is initiate these, like, sharp turns to slow me down a little. Okay, now we have it. And it's actually running away from me. So I think its top speed is about 300, uh, 250 or thereabouts. So I'm going to throttle up. Now, uh, the RAF basically, they got very good at chasing down these flying bombs. They, they would assign the fastest aircraft to the task because the bombs would fly at around 350 miles per hour, which was faster than most planes could manage unless they were in a dive. Now, one way, obviously, would be to use the onboard guns to try and shoot it down, right? Let's try this. Oh, oh I shot something there. So this is using the... 
the, um, what do you call it? Yes, I blew something up there. Ah. Okay, I gotta slow down. Okay, so that's one, one way to deal with it. The problem is, if you're flying a plane and you're trying to shoot these things, they have a nasty tendency of exploding in your face and destroying your aircraft. That was what they figured out, so they... Uh, it was kind of interesting, one particular pilot reset the convergence of his guns to be much more in tune with what he was fighting. Okay, that's us pulled some extra legs there. Let's try hitting... Oh, out of, out of here. This is so hard to do! Oh, come on. Okay, now, now it's uh, over there. Okay. Once again, I'm going to perform one of these, like, rollovers. The idea being that I'm flying slightly faster than him. So, oh, 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 yeah, okay, so you see what I did there was I accidentally clicked on the window. Where the hell is he gone? Where is he? Where did he go? Oh, there he is up there. <laughs> okay, totally terrible here. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, slow down. Okay, I need to, I need to throttle down my engines. Okay, and brakes, 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 brakes. This is the worst interception routine ever. I totally did this beforehand, and I managed to, like, shoot off the engine in one go. Ah. <laughs> I think what I need to do is zoom out a little, because I keep adjusting. Okay, so now he's... now I've adjusted my speed a little. Ah. Man. Okay. And of course, this bomb is heading off towards England, you know, and, and it's gonna run out of fuel at some point and, you know, fall down over the cities. They used what was called a pulse jet, which is a part which is not in Kerbal Space Program, interestingly, because a pulse jet is actually a super low tech jet engine. Why can't I kill this thing? Come on! Damn it! How come I am not hitting this thing? Okay, right. What the heck? I was He was like right there, he is in level flight, and I can't hit him. This is not cool. Okay, there he is down there. Of course, it, it doesn't help that I'm trying to talk about this thing at the, the same time. So yeah, it used a pulse jet, right? Which is a jet engine with a scent, can be made with essentially zero moving parts if you if you try okay <laughs> I'm just like what the heck what the heck I'm trying to talk about pulse jets so pulse jets you can make with zero moving parts if you like uh, okay brakes so I think my problem is I'm trying to I'm tr I need the mouse to fire the guns because I don't know what button the mouse and the, the guns are tied to Gonna throttle back a little. Come on! I'm not accustomed to shooting things in Kerbal Space Program. My firing solution is inadequate. How come this thing? Oh, there! Yes! Yes! Finally! <laughs> Brilliant victory! The Third Reich will not will not be bombing London anymore. Oh! <laughs> yes! Okay, so what I was explaining. Let's talk about uh, pulse jets. Let's go actually revert back to, to launch. Whew. No, the V1 was actually an amazing piece of technology, right? They came up with the idea before the war. The pulse jet essentially works as you've got a big tube and you have an air inlet, inlet. Now, in the case of the V1, it was like a series of slats that when they, uh, like, they would be layered like that, and when the air pressure pushed on them, they would open, right, and the air could get in, but when uh, there was enough air inside, it would explode, and the explosion would push the slats shut, so that would push the engine forwards. This would do, it would detonate about 50 times per second. That's what a pulse detonation engine is. Um, and that made them, that made them kind of sound like bugs. Apparently, so they would be called the doodle bugs, right? 
Um, so anyway, people uh, people talking about this. So it's actually possible to make a U-shaped version of this, which is really by having your inlet and outlet sizes balanced. What'll happen is you'll get an explosion out one outlet, and that'll then suck in air through the out other outlet, and then when the air ratio gets right, it'll fire again. There's once it's started, it just self-sustains, right? It's like a resonant explosion system where the explosion drives out the exhaust gases and sucks in new uh, oxidizing, you know, oxygen. So uh, there's actually a guy on YouTube that makes these Colin Furs. You should absolutely check out his channel because it's like hilarious and awesome and he makes jets and then attaches them to bikes and then builds a jet powered, um, you know, barbecue, turbo jet powered barbecue. That is the bomb. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Stabilize. Now, there was another thing. So, as I was saying, shooting these things is apparently kind of dangerous. And, uh... Oh, why did my engines go to zero? No, I gotta get after it! So, this is what happens is if you... If you, um... Go too far, then uh, the physics engine will just, like, reset your engines. And you're... You basically... Like, it's gonna go out of range. Don't go out of range, don't go out of range just yet. I'm surprised this is still in range. Because this should totally have shut down by now. Okay, 3.2 kilometers. Now, now I'm getting near to speed. Uh, okay. It, you, what? By the way, optical illusion, that whole, um, that whole dress thing is not an optical illusion. That's simply color balance. It's not... Uh, it's not what you think it is. Not, it's not what I would call an optical illusion, let's see. Okay, let's let's get this thing layered, leveled out. Okay, so I gotta slow this down. Uh oh, look, see, and because I'm going supersonic, I'm uh, oscillating and potentially getting into a bad situation here. Ah, it's BD Armory. That's good, because that's, that helped me. Okay, so there was another technique which I've always wanted to try for knocking down the V1s, right? The V1s, they were, they had wings, they were like planes flying. Okay, this is flying pretty well. I'm slowing down. And... Essentially, it was possible to disrupt the airflow over their wings. So, as I said, shooting the, them often was a hairy experience because you could quite easily find that your aircraft... Okay, I'm gonna fly right past this and now I'm gonna do a do a dog leg or whatever to like try and bring myself back under back behind it see this it's kind of I, I guess it might be considered like a barrel roll because I'm trying to roll around the outside of it and the idea is I'm flying this big corkscrew path and it is flying in a straight line so it, even though I was going faster, it, I should let it pass me. That's the idea. Okay, and now I'm going to throttle up again because I need to... Ah, darn, if I move the thing outside the window, then I'm screwed. Okay, so now I'm behind it. Now I need to get in level flight behind it, and I need to get up to the same speed as it. So what I should do is double-click this thing, and that'll give me target velocity. So it's still receding from me at about 20 meters per second. But I, if I uh, get this right, should be able to start closing on it. I'm going to throttle back just a bit. And I'm going to nose this down because it shouldn't be gaining altitude so fast. All the same, it shouldn't be crashing into the ocean. Okay, so that's me starting to catch up on it. Just up a little. I had Mechanical Jeb installed, or I was trying to do this with Mechanical Jeb to adjust the... Uh, keep it in level flight, but Mechanical Jeb just keeps on, you know, making it uncontrollable. Okay, i got to throttle back just a little. I'm approaching too quickly. Okay, so the the aircraft were essentially, the V1 was essentially guided by uh, an inertial control system, right? It had a little uh, gyroscope and everything on board that would try and figure out the acceleration and fly it in level flight. The, but what would happen is if it exceeded certain parameters, it would stop trying to fly and essentially fall into the ground. That was desi by design. Once the engine failed, it was supposed to just kind of drop to the ground as quickly as possible. So the, some of the pilots figured out that you could essentially just tip its wing over with, with your wing. 
Now you didn't actually have to touch the wings together, all you needed to do was get your wing close to its wing, and then it, the airflow passing over your wing would adjust the, you know, a muck around with the airflow passing over its wing, and it would spin out of control. Okay, so now I'm kind of coming in. It's really hard to adjust the speed here. I'm using, trying, I've got air brakes on this, you see, to try and give me some fast control, but this is really hard. Uh, everyone in chat, I cannot read anything in chat right now simply because this is, I'm trying to fly next to a flying bomb. I've heard of the 3D printing thing. I think it's interesting that the 3D printed model they demonstrated did not have an upper stage engine. Uh, <laughs> And I think that is because they don't have support for procedural objects like the built-in fairings that the engines have. Okay, so I totally... This is not supposed to represent a Spitfire, unfortunately. They didn't actually use Spitfires for this, I believe. They, I thought they used uh, Hurricanes because the Hurricanes were, were faster. Maybe not Hurricanes. Um, the, the Spitfires weren't the main ones deployed. They actually deployed the Gloucester Meteor, I believe, as well. It was one of their first things because the Meteors were fast enough to keep up at low level. Yeah, I don't have... I, I don't have... I guess I do have, actually, Fire Spitter installed. Okay, let's... Let, let's try slowing down again. I got the throttle way down here. It just is so hard to keep this... Okay, I'm trying to get in close and touch this wing here. Okay, now it's getting away from me, I think. Okay. Come on. I, w I wonder if my engine needs... Th it does... It's slowing down again. Man! This is so hard to throttle this engine. The spin-up and spool-down time on these engines is just... Oh, really hard. Yeah. For those that don't know, deleted link. I'm sorry, you're not, not posting links because I cannot possibly... Uh, moderate this channel at the same time. I'm not playing the Battle Over Britain because the V1 came after the Battle Over Britain. The V1 campaign happened after the whole Battle of Britain. Okay. Just so you know. Man, I just... Like, it's either way too low or way too high. It says I'm playing Elite. You know what? Who cares? I've never, never liked that having to reset that thing. It, it should know better. <laughs> uh, I, Twitch, I, I don't have time to change Twitch's thing because I'm flying an aircraft. This is the problem. Yes, I'm playing elite and I'm being super elite about it. Okay, am I going towards it or away from it? I just can't tell because the other thing is... I should probably do this from above. That's what I should do. It's still receding from me, despite my best efforts. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to crash into it, but not crash into it. Yeah. <laughs> this is so tense. Ah, oh, dear. This is so tense. This is, of course, not what uh, Spock would have done. Actually, Spock would have... <clears throat> Pardon me. Spock would have almost certainly crashed a plane into another plane to save people. Yes, that would actually be a very good idea. Twi uh, open broadcaster should be smart like that. Okay, there we go. We're coming in towards it again. Uh, if and... See, I don't think these air brakes are doing anything. I fitted air brakes, but what the heck? I'm going to throttle back just a touch. It's really hard to tell your closing velocity because the relative velocity also includes vertical speed. Okay. Well, you know, ice on series would not be unexpected, put it that way. Because it's at a distance where ice could form. The thing is, though, ice in space isn't actually necessarily as shiny as you'd expect, right? So don't automatically presume that the albedo of something on Earth which is exposed to weathering matches the albedo of something in space which is in a vacuum and gets exposed to, you know, cosmic rays and things like that. I am the second most watched streamer. I should play some Elite Dangerous, but right now I'm definitely just trying to touch this. 
I'm trying to get in and have a close uh, encounter with this. And I'm now slowing down again. Yeah, th this is air brakes from Ferrum Aerospace. They don't appear to be working particularly well. That's the only thing. I think I need bigger air brakes. Yeah, spoilers. I thought by having these things stick out that they would actually slow me down, but they're clearly not working particularly well. Ah, uh, that was of course one of the problems with the um, with the Ger what was the German jet the ME? Oh, I can't remember what was the German uh, jet fighter from World War Two. It was it was super fast, and then it didn't really have air brakes, so. It would come in and it couldn't slow down to engage the target, and so it'd fly past. And that became one of its big problems, but... Okay. Spoiler! Hitler dies at the end. Yes, he does. Emmy, Is it the ME-262? We're not talking about the rocket plane, we're talking about the actual jet plane. Right? The Obviously, the... Their jet, their rocket plane was too fast as well, and was... Uh, had a, a cannon that fired way too slowly for it to be effective in combat. Uh, it was certainly, you know, scared the bejesus out of the pilots who saw them, but who saw it, but okay, slowing down again, gotta slow down. I'm trying to get in super close to just t knock this far enough off course that it will crash without damaging my own aircraft. That's the trick, right? And this is like super hard to do. Okay, here we go, we're getting closer! And the- oh man. So last night we went to see Crafty Cuts DJing, and Crafty Cuts is one of the most entertaining DJs I know. He just plays the fun, the breaks, the bass, and he just played a whole lot of classic fun tunes. Remixed uh, amazingly. Okay, now I'm definitely getting too low here. And I'm falling behind once again, so I need to give myself a little more speed. Yeah, okay, the rocket plane was ME-163, right? And... You know what, I should probably push this nose down a little again. Okay. Oh, oh, crap, 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 crap. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, there it is, there now. Okay, and... Target speed is still good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, that was one thing about the V V1 exhaust was that it could be seen from a long way away. Okay, we're starting to get close. Starting to get close. Can I tip this up? Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Okay! We have some sort of victory. Now, let's see what happens to this. Does it crash out of the sky because I've messed up its guidance? <laughs> now, in real life, they didn't actually have to touch the wings. They just had to edge their wing underneath the other one in the airflow, right? The airflow, look at it, it's, go it's going down. <laughs> oh, yes. Da 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 there we go! It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary. To the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye, Piccadilly. Farewell, Leicester Square. It's a long, long way to Piccadilly, oh, Tipperary, but my heart's right there. Oh, yeah, it was God Save the King, right? Oh, dear. Ah, yes. <laughs> no beer right now. I, it's not even a tonight. It's like two o'clock, and I just thought I'd do a bit of a stream there. Um, so, wait, Spitfires in World War II. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, for king and country, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I, I... Listen, you know my fa- have you ever guys uh, seen Das Boot? Das Boot is the best submarine movie ever, and my, one of my favorite moments is where they, they're just like steaming through the Straits of Gibraltar listening to, you know, l Long Way to Tipperary. It's a great, great moment. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, okay, so actually, let's uh, let's go back to the space plane hangar now. I wonder if I can build like a fighter plane. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna now load uh, or load. Uh, no, no. I'm gonna try and build a fire spitter, um, fire spitter plane. And I can never quite manage remember how to do this. Is I don't know if I have all the fire spitter parts here. I should probably check. Uh, no, I don't have the fire spitter parts. So never mind. Let's let's see what we've got. Inline cockpit, bomber cockpit. We probably want this one, right? Uh, 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 uh. It's 11 p.m. there. Okay, so engines. Does anyone remember how to assemble a fire spitter air? You know what? I should probably just look for the fire spitter parts. Uh, hold on. Uh, I thought I had. I thought I downloaded a bunch of things. You know, what? I downloaded a bunch of things, but it's gone. Ah. <sighs> okay. Do maybe fuel tanks. This is turbo prop customizable propeller engine. Would that be the one? I don't think, I think that probably needs to have something attached to it, right? Electric propeller, tail prane, tail rotor, uh, fuel tank, I don't remember. What does this need? Um, this is a customizable propeller. If I cust, I, how do I customize it? Does it not work? I don't even remember. Structural uh, seaplane float. Oh, oblong nose. Maybe that's what I need. Oh, how about this? Oh, that that looks like the part. And that that should probably have the propeller attached on the front there, right? Nose-mounted engine. Ah, oh, yes. Does that look the part? I, I you know DMP with with the guns. I just it's it's too glitchy as far as I'm concerned. How does that work? That might be a little too short. Do we have fuel tanks that match this thing? Right. Oh wait, this is still in the fuel tank category because it has not been updated, that's why. Oblong multi-tank, let's try that. I think that's too too long, never mind. I'm just going to put the, sh the tail on. Uh, 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 uh. I've no idea how to build the planes in, in this uh, particular mod, so I'm just guessing my way around. I'm going to try and build a propeller-powered plane, which is fast enough to intercept. Thank you. It's fast enough to intercept uh, one of those things. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, okay, edit. All right, right. How do I do this? I go to the thing and it says, edit, damn it. Kerbal Space Program. There we go. Done. Problem solved. Thank you. I could try building a sidewinder or something one of these days. I probably should. Large tail wing, tail wing, tail winglet, tail tail. Is this what I am supposed to use for a tail? Oh, I could try using one of these. <laughs> that doesn't look the part, but never mind. I've got a prop and it. Is that a jet? Oh, that is a jet! <laughs> That's funny. Oh yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> I never use fire spitter, right? I, I almost never use it. Okay, oblong tail, is this the one? There's that what we want? And lower left court, okay. I still need to fix, okay, you know what? I might, let me, let me try stopping this and restarting it, right? Gonna stop to fix this. Okay, uh, stop, stop streaming, 